I love shopping. Let's get started. That seems nice. Getting all my shit together. Uh, 1359. Seriously, doing all that. Was I high? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel for those who are tuning in for the first time. Hello, my name is Kimi. I'm a YouTuber based in Tanzania And just like the title of this video did say today we are doing a massive unboxing. So it's gonna be fun It's gonna be fun. Uh, have a seat. It's gonna be a fun bomb ass party. Let's get started I'm gonna say over the past month. I've been trying to buy stuff <laughs> that, that sounds ridiculous. Well, I did go shopping that also sounds ridiculous. I went on a shopping spree. I was looking for one thing in my defense. I got it thing and here it is. I bought it. The one thing is here. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Even for me. I know, I know. But let's just have a conversation while I unbox this. I had to declutter and throw away some of the bits that I wasn't using. And then I found out I was really running out of stuff. So I kept denying my skin for some of the nutrients that it had become accustomed to and it started showing. It just looked tired even after I slept for 10 hours straight. I mean, have I ever done 10 hours? But you get the point. Even if I slept fully and I felt well rested, my skin was just like, no. I drank enough water and my skin was like, no. I was like, okay, it's time to bring back the serums, especially my vitamin C. That did wonders for me. That's the backstory of why I ended up on this, I don't know, random shopping haul, which turned into luxury, which turned into massive big boxes. You guys saw that. I do enjoy getting some stuff locally from the beauty vendors that import from the UK, US, Dubai. But here's the thing, the markup goes over and beyond. Sometimes it's like, I know that product is $10, but really you expect me to pay that 160,000, which is about 80, maybe $75. Let's say something simple, like the ordinary. We all know their product do go for six dollars seven dollars and if they get a bigger hype they go for eleven dollars and then right here the beauty vendors get the same product yes it's legit yes there's shipping cost but then there's over and beyond even the devil's like really hun really sis like who's teaching you this the markup goes from six dollars to anywhere close to ninety dollars i'm not even saying this out of noise i really wish i could like expose them but i'm not feeling that salty i mean why why would you do that and that's how I just decided to go on Amazon. I went to Harvey Nicholas. I went to Huda Beauty. I think that's it. I also bought some stuff locally and I'll show you guys what that's about. Something about buying on Amazon. I just enjoy buying in bulk because the shipping cost goes a bit reasonable. It doesn't go low, it goes reasonable. You get the box like this and then you get this bit where it says open and resealed by customs. Your goods come in the country, the customs have to snoop what that's about and then they reseal it. Also, this is going to be like a first time impression kind of thing. I don't know if you guys will be interested in the prices or not. Oh, I'll just put them on the screen. All right. There. Really? I thought I got that. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. So this first one is from Huda Beauty. Uh, there we go. And then you also have your... Oh, okay. This is what I got. I got a Uglow Scrub Sachet. I got a double-ended mascara. Yeah, this is the most expensive mascara I've ever bought. The reason I bought it is because I just needed my foundation because there's a limit where you get free shipping, which is, I don't even pay like $20 for shipping or get a mascara. It's like, I'm gonna get a mascara because yeah you rob tom to, to pay jerry is, is that the saying rob it doesn't matter i have the huda beauty for filter foundation in coffee bean i have the brown obsession chocolate i was obsessed about these palettes i think i saw jackie einar reviewing them i also saw dima ume doing it and i was like that seems interesting but i'm just not gonna order one thing and when the point came where i could order them i was like yep bring them uh this is what's inside oh they gave me this glow thingy I have this wishful youth glow and then I have this brown chocolate eyeshadow palette that looks like I don't, look at that just look at that it looks so good I'm in love guys I've never found an eyeshadow palette I don't even do eyeshadows that much but this like if this entire unboxing goes to shit and I bought things that don't even like this I don't necessarily need this oh my god this looks so good 
Should I swatch it? Let's see. Let me. I'm, uh, I'm curious. <gasps> the pigment, yo! This is so good. This is definitely gonna be a long ass video, in case that wasn't obvious. And then I have Huda Beauty 4 Filter Foundation. Last time I thought I didn't get the right shade and the foundation came here, it felt a little bit darker. But when I wear it and like clear it with like contours and highlight, it's the perfect shade. It's literally what I'm wearing right now. But I've also mixed this one with my Estee Lauder foundation. The foundation was $45. And then we have, they give you this face mask when you buy the brown eyeshadow palette because of Corona season and them giving back and whatnot and it's, oh it is so good hey is it am i serving or am i serving this i didn't buy they give you this as a freebie the silk face covering was 11 dollars, but when you buy it you get it for free it says a brown obsession reusable face covering protection this is definitely the mascara that's gonna make me misbehave for sure because it gives you legit lashes this has been the top of the town and like if you follow some beauty bloggers and beauty youtubers you know this is legit oh, god so it's a double-ended mascara the oh i love it okay so this is the thick side this is for the low lashes it's so small and pretty um this went for 27 dollars the sachet thingy that i showed you this one this was one dollar but i also didn't buy this came as a freebie next up is from amazon i have no recollection what this is smart life collection yeah there Anyways, we're gonna go in and unbox this because I, I bought them in one order and then they decided to separate them this oh <laughs> this is a professional surgical extractor for blackhead and blemishes removal from time to time I do get my vajayshows not the wax you do a vajayshow it's like a facial for your vajayjay let's not get into that if you do it more power to you if you hate it well to each their own so it's just something that looks like that it was $7.99 shipping was $3.65 so he enjoys wearing not i'm not sure he enjoys this one he does have to wear a hat when he's in the sun for some reason and then i oh yeah i saw this this is just like your baseball hat but this is like a plain one with like a deer head over here it's so subtle and then it's just like black and plain for an everyday i'm going to the supermarket let's go out for a walk this is the hat they get and i also got another one in beige it looks like so and then with a deer head over here was it the day before yesterday somewhere this week he was like i really need to get new that's where you get a longer brim and then this is it i had with a new brim i feel so happy about it so that would be 30 dollars for two next we have i'm not sure <laughs> i'm gonna call them head scrunches you know when you're doing your makeup and then you have like your natural hair is just sitting pretty but then if you wash it you have to get really high but then your hair is on the way let's see you do that and then do that and then you can wash your face freely without worrying about water going anywhere i actually just wanted the black one because this makes so much sense when you're cleaning your face so you get a black one a white one and a gray the CeraVe eye cream repair I bought this out of a hype I was looking for a new eye cream I was using the Estee Lauder it didn't really do much I mean it felt expensive and lax I think the drunk elephant was also reviewed but it's the same formula so this is like an affordable version of the drunk elephant eye cream repair so I'm like great and this has the three essential ceramides which we all know we love them huh? we have the receipts with this one the CeraVe eye repair cream this was 1077 and then what's in there again oh okay so i bought a new memory card this is a 4k filming memory card and it is 128 gb because i've begun to shoot in 4k i don't think that's a dedicated 4k memory card so i got a dedicated one and this is one from scandisk pro this was a uh, 35 Ooh okay this was 35 usd but i tried to look for this also locally i think it was going for either 200k give or take which 200k could be close to a hundred dollars yeah us dollars i'm not doing that i feel like this is a hat my dream hat is inside i bought a panama black hat i have been looking for them everywhere 
It is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh god, I, I, I hope it fits me. Uh, oh my god. Guys, this, this is love at first. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you are you seeing this? What? Oh my goodness, can I does it please fit me? Please fit me. <laughs> Game over. Give me a second. Let me use the mirror. Uh I'm complete. Guys, I'm complete. This is part of the missing piece in my personality. If I start behaving differently. <laughs> blend it on this hat i'm gonna go back after this video order them in every color like black red yeah, even a red would work how much is this this is the lazon women's classic white brim oh, it's a white brim see i was just gonna say the brim feels sturdier and white and then it has oh this doesn't come out this is legit one of my favorite purchases in a very long time oh my goodness i'm gonna get it in like brown nude gray red burgundy even purple i would wear oh my god i'm gonna place this really gently over there what oh so this was 15.99 this is the ola hendrickson sea rush brightening gel cream this is a face moisturizer mm, it's giving me summer yeah this this is the one if you have ever used any of the Oli Hendrickson's products, you know they don't play around with the packaging. Quality feels heavy. I wonder how much this was. Oh, don't don't go anywhere. We have we have our six. So this was the Ole Hendrickson Sea Rash Brightening Gel. This is 1.7 fluid ounces and it is mm, $79.99. Let's check the shelf life before I have to apply this on all my body before it expires. It's 12 months. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's gonna get used and abused. Let's, let's get the hair out of the way, you know? Uh, inside here we have first this. This is a facial cleansing oil. It is by far my favorite thing in my entire skincare routine. Like this oil takes out my makeup like a hot knife cutting through butter. Nothing stays, just one pump, but it's such a satisfying feeling to just see all your makeup melt. Anything you need to wash out, use this. Like if there was one product I was like, I would gladly endorse was this one. But then this is a uh, 300 milliliters, which is 10.1 fluid ounces. This is the first step makeup removal and facial cleanser. It dissolves makeup with zero residue. Skin is left soft, clean, and radiant. I can testify that if there's anything you ever wanted to believe, this this should be your starting point. There's no added fragrance in this, and it's effective for all skin types. At least for me, combination to oily, so it still works. This is by DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. This is going for $25.60 dollars. Already. Next up, we have the Pure Clay Mask. If there's any mask that I've been using consistently, it's this one from L'Oreal. I love it. And I always buy this locally, but for some weird reason, I think my local vendor just started smoking crack again. Because the prices has been triple what I know. And this, this is a drugstore thing. It's not high end. So I'm pretty sure I could get it from Amazon. The Charcoal Facial Mask from L'Oreal is $15.25. This has three pure clay and charcoal. This is a wash off mask. It's not a sheet mask. It's not a peel off mask. Also, it's 2021. If you actually were expecting peel off masks. Next up, we have oh, some goodies. I love me some sunscreen. Where, where the hell is the scissor? I, lo I love the box. This is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40 and it went for $39. Should have been bigger though. I have been seeing Super Goop doing the very most for a black girl. You know, I'm gonna try this just so that we can cry together. If it leaves a white residue, I am gonna fight. Oh, this is gooey. This is the consistency. Sunscreen wear. Has a gel consistency. You can see nothing and it gives you 40 SPF. Ah, oh, oh, hello. I thought you were gonna be bigger. Oh, that's so kind enough to tell me when it's expiring. 12, 2023, what month? Oh, okay, this, this, is gonna, this is 2021, right? I have been very curious and very eager to start using this. This is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. But why do they have to tie it so much? I just want to see my product. 
All right. It looks like so. Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Salicylic Acid. This was $39.50. But how many ounces was this? This is four fluid ounces. That's on that. Last, I have this laptop stand for my laptop. Come out, don't be shy. If you guys are working full time on your desk and you need that support or something, this is the floor. It just goes, it'll go like that and then your laptop will go like that or you can just have your laptop like that elevated does that does this make sense i'll insert a picture and it is 30 dollars 29.99 um this is another package from amazon oh fun mama likes this goodies so we have that all right first up we have oh my god i totally forgot about this the la roche posay Claire face cleanser la roche posay my first bit in double cleansing is definitely the face oil and then i go in with a foam forming cleanser so there's this i think the sarah oh, uh, we have the sarah v la roche posay Claire purifying forming gel cleanser for oily skin oh yeah this is for oily skin i'm a combination but mostly oil on my t-zone so pretty much covers up the whole combination part of my face and this was $20 and this is the 13.52 or 400 milliliters and then shelf life is 12 months then you have the CeraVe this is also for normal to oily skin and then it is going for $11 no it's going for $15 it's just a hairspray bottle, but it doesn't spray like water lips. It does it in a mist form and it's black. So, oh, hey, did you guys see that? And voila. This is the hairspray bottle for continuous water mist spray. It's $6.99. So next, oh, I love this. Oh my goodness. This is the three pack Mabo makeup bag travel for toiletries, makeup, cosmetics, and organization. This is like a black marble one. So this will have my everyday makeup or whatnot. It looks like that, like that. You can put your makeup brushes or whatever. You can put your bikinis. So it looks like that. So together you have them this way. If you need to have your makeup in your pouch and you need everything combined and you want to find them, this. Oh, ooh, hello. We have another CeraVe PM Face Moisturizing Lotion. This was $25. And then this is a desktop stand. I'm not going to unbox this. This is a present for my boyfriend. And just yesterday, I think he mentioned he was looking to it. I was like, um, maybe let's not buy one. Let's go look for one. I was really trying to pull time so that I can do this video and get this one out of the way. Lastly, we have this box from Harvey and Nichols. This is my luxury purchase. I think this is mostly skin care. Okay, it says recycle me, please. This entire parcel is from Harvey Nichols, the UK luxury brand. They do ship directly to Tanzania and you pay your duties and tax everything with them. I like how they've packed it like so with a band that says Harvey Nichols to just show how genuine the product is. Sandy Riley's CEO, Vitamin C. I swear by this. I love it, love it, love it. So it looks like this. I didn't. I thought I got the normal size, but perfect. Sunday Riley CEO of Vitamin C. This is 15% brightening serum. I will insert the prices for this on the screen. So next up, I bought the Max Studio Fix Concealer Palette. It looks like so. I had the old one, but I think it did expire. Does this thing expire? It doesn't have an expiry date. This is how it looks. This is for any shade between NC45, NW45, NC50, NW50, and the pure orange for color correction. Next up, we have this. This is the retinoid from The Ordinary. This is retinol 0.5 in squalene. Gonna use this tonight. How long is the shelf life? Because the other one I had to throw. Three months! Dang it! Next up, we have the... This is the Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5 vitamin b5 and i got this one in 60 milliliters so the big one let me show you the one i had which is almost finishing shelf life 12 months and then before that the one that i was using and it is right now it's over here right then this is the difference 
30 milliliters this is 60. i wanted 60 because i keep running through this and i was like if it's just gonna cost a little few dollars to have the full size one i'll rather go through that direction this is the niacinamide 10 percent plus zinc one percent again from the ordinary the prices from having nickel so i will add the prices on the screen also this is 60 milliliters this is technically over over so i couldn't have started this on a greater time so this is my night serum the hyaluronic one is my day serum both from the ordinary next up we have fenty beauty by rihanna this is the pro filter powder foundation Ooh, packaging okay riri it looks like so is it my skin shade though let's see oh on point on to the fucking point oh this is perfect and there goes my everyday powder foundation they didn't have a skin tint in my shade so that kind of sucked so i got this this is the pro filter instant retoucher concealer the one i was using also is finishing looks like so this is for my highlighter love 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 this it's also the one i'm wearing today we have two lipsticks from mac this is the one the only classic everyday red lipstick and if you don't know where to start start with the max ruby woo it is a timeless classic red i mean look at that beauty look and then i got a classic everyday nude if i'm being honest this is in the shade whirl like whirl and it is chocolate ah, i love it this is like a perfect brown girl nude and then i have some shoes that i've been buying and then i have this uh, classic closed toe heel with like a see-through heel over here love it i love that for me and also looks like so and then i needed a nude everyday heel it looks like so this is like a nude suede color and i love it makes my legs look so elongated lastly before you say miss kimmy all she wears is black and nudes i got green shoes haven't worn them yet but i have green shoes i actually worn them the one time for pictures in bed so i got these mules so i think they look like so and that's it thank you so much guys for watching it's been an amazing amazing time i had the most fun unboxing this i hope you guys did enjoy this if you're curious on where and how to shop i will be filming that video after this one and i'll link this one to the other one so stay tuned and while i still have you thank you so much for watching all the way to the end uh, please don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video and you my dear are the real mvp love and light i'll see you guys on my next one Mwah. Bye! Let's get a time. Oh god. Oh god, this is heavy. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Okay. Ah. Thank god AC is on. Because this, this does not say I work out at all. I don't fall and break everything else. Okay.